Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will set you up for a successful growing season. Today we're going to talk about trial results from the PTI farm with different planting dates. When is the best time to plant corn and what does it cost us if we plant too early, too late, or in the wrong conditions? You know, if we go back and we look at corn planting date this past year at the PTI farm, it was pretty significant when we planted in tough conditions. Now we ranked all of the revenue from all of our trials at the PTI farm from top to bottom and you'd be surprised that the highest revenue generator or depending on how you looked at it, the one that cost us the most money was actually from planting corn in improper conditions. And that happened a lot with everybody in 2019 with all the water we had. It was awful hard to plant this year when we had rainfall that just happened, it seemed like every other day on the farm. So here's a video shot of outside the PTI farm where we've got a lot of water. We've got water standing everywhere and we've just got rainfall happening every single day. This is the problem we had in 19 across the Midwest. Matter of fact, if you go and look at the estimated rainfall back in April and May, this is the reason we couldn't get corn and soybeans planted. Just tr We had saturated soils for a long time and we just couldn't get in the field. And growers got impatient. And we started looking at the calendar and we said well, it's getting late and we need to plant right away. And as a result, growers pushed it. We planted into mud conditions. We just were not fit and we tried to get acres planted. And this is one of our planters at the PTI farm. We tried to plant when all of our neighbors were planting as well, trying to push and plant by the calendar and it cost us yield. How much? Well, May 20th was actually the best time for us to plant at the PTI farm. It finally warmed up, it got dry enough, and that was our highest yield. When we pushed it and we planted in those, those unfit conditions, if you will, it cost us 57 to 67 bushels to the acre. Now, on the late side, when we, we planted later than that May 20th, the, the optimum plant date, we didn't lose that much yield. Yes, we had higher moisture corn to deal with, but we didn't suffer the consequences as much of pushing it and planting in the mud conditions. Again, 57 to 67 bushel losses. You take those yield consequences times the price of corn, and we're using $3.67 as our rolling 12-month average for corn at, uh, at elevators or grain terminals around the PTI farm, and that yield consequence comes up to nearly $250 to the acre. You see what happens when we push when we push it, we try to get out there and we plant in tough conditions, it can add up to severe losses. It was hard to get the perfect stand of corn this year by planting in those tough conditions. However, if we waited, we allowed the soils to dry out, we allowed them to warm up, we were able to get this good stand of corn and it paid off dividends in yield. To make matters worse with the early planting, when we planted it in mud, we had additional rain that, that, that those acres needed to deal with and it was cold. Here you can see the, the heat gun where we're 41 degrees in these saturated soils. It was not good conditions when we put it in and then after we put it in, it was cold and wet and that was very de detrimental to yield response. So today's Inside Agronomy tip of the day is you can put all the technology on a planter you want, but if you're gonna plant in the mud, your crop could be a dud. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. For more information or questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks for watching.